Hello and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Courtney and my channel is all about connecting with crystals, learning about their metaphysical benefits, and really just becoming aware of this unique energy that's available to all of us. So thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm gonna be diving into my crystal jewelry collection. I'm super excited to share with you all of my crystal jewelry pieces. I'm really gonna be talking about the energy of each stone and why I like to wear these pieces. I'll give any insights, share any stories that I've learned along the years while bonding with my crystal jewelry pieces. I really want this to be like a fun, chit chatty video. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video. So you may notice in this video I have a little bit of a cold, so I might sound a little nasally, just to let you know, I might be sipping on some hot tea throughout this. <laughs> so if you find yourself really interested and drawn to start working with crystal jewelry pieces, I have a whole nother video really talking about the importance of keeping up with you know, the care for crystal jewelry. This is something that I think gets a little overlooked. And I have a video that you would love so much. I'm gonna link it below and I'll also have a pop-up card show up right now. It just really helps you kind of get in sync with understanding how to keep up with crystal jewelry, you know, making sure they're working at full capacity for you. Cause I feel like it's not something that a lot of people talk about. So definitely check out that video after this one. Alrighty, so now jumping into my crystal jewelry collection, I'm gonna start off by showing off kind of like some pairs in the beginning. So if they're the same crystal, um, maybe I have it in a bracelet and in a necklace, I'll just be showing off my pairs in the beginning, my crystal pairings in the beginning, and then I'll be diving into more individual pieces that are just standalone crystals. Alrighty, so the first crystal jewelry pieces that I'm going to be sharing with you are my rainbow moonstone pieces. So I have this beautiful rainbow moonstone necklace and I also have this beautiful rainbow moonstone bracelet. Really, I like to utilize rainbow moonstone during like the full moon. So when I'm doing any kind of like moon rituals, I like to incorporate wearing um, rainbow moonstone, you know, leading up to a full moon, I really gravitate towards wearing this bracelet. This bracelet is from Pratt Daddy Crystals. I absolutely love all their bracelets and necklaces. They're like really amazing and super high quality. So this is definitely one that I really gravitate towards working with. This necklace I got about two years ago, I was at a swap meet and I saw it and I just instantly fell in love with it. And at the time I was really kind of diving into moonstone. I was learning a lot about moonstone. I wanted to work with my divine feminine. And really whenever I wear moonstone, I feel like I'm channeling that divine feminine energy, that moon energy, you know, whatever is going on in my life. And I feel maybe a little emotional and I feel like I need to kind of get more in my fierceness or whatever is going on. I just need to put on like a brave face and go for it. Moonstone gives me that energy and I absolutely love, love working with it. Alrighty, so the next crystal jewelry pieces that I'm going to be sharing with you are two citrine necklaces. So this was actually my very first crystal necklace and it is a natural citrine. This I got from an Etsy shop that is no longer active, I guess. Um, it's from Greece. I think that's really cool. It's from Athens. I love this so much. You can see it's kind of gotten <laughs> a lot of love. <laughs> it's a little tarnished, but this was like a big, 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 like changing point in my life when I started wearing this like every day. And then I also have this citrine piece that's on a really gross chain that I need to switch out. Um, this is a heat treated citrine and the chain's pretty long but it's kind of like i think it got wet it's like not i don't really wear this one anymore because i need a new chain for it but this is another uh, citrine necklace that i have in my collection whether you're wearing natural citrine or heat treated citrine honestly my feedback with experimenting with wearing both of these pieces, I feel like they both energetically do the same thing. I know a lot of people are kind of worried about wearing heat treated citrine if it acts the same as natural citrine. In my experience, it acts the same for me. <laughs> um, really the significance of this piece is I got this piece in, I wanna say 2018, early 2018, 
And that year that I started wearing this every day, I really was feeling so much abundance in my life, you know? It wasn't so much about manifesting money with Citrine, it was really for me manifesting abundance in my life. And I remember that year of 2018, I was traveling so much. Um, I was just kind of, I had graduated um, from college, so I was feeling very abundant with my energy and I just felt really good and I was started to get into you know working with the moon and I felt like I was learning about manifestation it was a really high like spiritual year for me and I honestly wore this necklace like every day it was like such a big part of my crystal journey like sinking with this citrine energy so if you're looking for a crystal jewelry piece to really invest in to wear every day citrine is amazing so the next crystal jewelry piece that i'm going to highlight is actually three different pieces but they all kind of had like the same crystal in them first off i'm going to be showing you ah, this beautiful kunzite necklace i love this so much i have a kunzite aquamarine bracelet also from frat daddy crystals and then I have these aquamarine bracelets. So they're like all kind of like the same, from the same family almost, you know? So I'm gonna be talking about how I've worked with Kunzite first. Kunzite, I've noticed while wearing this, you know, this sits pretty much at my heart chakra. I remember wearing my Kunzite, really vibing with that energy, loving, love wearing Kunzite. It's honestly such an amazing stone to wear. And I had an experience that I thought I'd share with you guys. You know, I was wearing my kunzite. I think I was coming home from the beach one day. And, you know, normally when I see like a homeless man, you know, I do feel sorry. I feel bad. Um, you know, I was driving my car from the beach. I saw a homeless man across the street in front of me. And honestly, like this time, like I just felt this feeling in my heart, like this really this sense of compassion and I almost wanted to cry. I was like really emotional just thinking about this man and how he was homeless. And then, you know, the light turned green and I kept driving. And I was like, wow, I can't believe like that's, I've never really feel that way, you know. I got home and I was thinking about it a little bit more and I was like, oh, I wonder if it was the kunzai. You know, kunzai really opens up your heart and makes you super compassionate. Like it's one of the most compassionate crystals out there. So. You know, if you do wear kunzai, you can find yourself becoming more emotional with like things that are happening in your life. Um, I love utilizing this kunzai and aquamarine bracelet because, you know, aquamarine works with our throat chakra, kunzai works with our heart chakra. So it's kind of like this nice combo wearing this. It's kind of nice for me to wear when I need to like get ready for a video, you know, practice my words, you know, I'm using, I'm focusing on my throat chakra, I'm expressing myself. Um, with my throat and also with my heart. So it's kind of a nice um, bracelet for me to wear for communication. And the same goes with these aquamarine um, bracelets. You know, it's very communication vibes that I really harness that energy while I'm wearing these pieces. <laughs> Have another crystal pairing, the beautiful amethyst. This is my amethyst necklace from Pratt Daddy Crystals. <laughs> and also these beautiful Amethyst faceted bracelets. There's three of them. And these are also from Pratt Daddy Crystals. So amethyst, really, I love wearing amethyst to kind of feel like almost this protective vibe. I've been noticing more often that when I am wearing amethyst, I really am looking for protection. I want to feel like this, you know, bubble of light around me. I feel like I can really channel my higher self when I'm wearing amethyst. Um, this is a really good stone to wear out in public. You know, maybe you kind of have a little bit of a social anxiety um, or you just want to feel protected with your energy. I feel like amethyst is really wonderful to wear in those situations. It just honestly gives off this really good vibe, this really good vibration. I think this is another really good go-to basic crystal to have in a crystal jewelry collection just because it's so versatile. Um, amethyst has so many amazing properties really to help you with your energy with whatever you're going through so this is another great one to really invest in all right so those were all kind of like my pairings now we're going to be going into individual crystals that i have just like single like items so next up we have black tourmaline this black tourmaline necklace honestly if you are an empath <laughs> if you want to um kind of block any negativity coming your way let's say maybe you have negative people around you, maybe this is a work situation or 
I don't know, it could be anything. You just kind of need protection in your life to not absorb the energy of people around you. Black tourmaline is a wonderful go-to for that. Something I've noticed while wearing black tourmaline, it's kind of funny. <laughs> black tourmaline, if you're gonna go out on a Friday night and have a couple drinks, I recommend to not wear black tourmaline because black tourmaline really helps you kind of, um, it just, it absorbs things differently. I feel like when I have like a drink or two, when I'm wearing black tourmaline, it kind of makes me sick. I feel like consuming alcohol or anything like that um, is kind of counterintuitive when you're wearing black tourmaline. So just something I've noticed that's kind of random, you know, don't drink and wear black tourmaline because it's going to make you feel sick. <laughs> Again, if you are an empath or anything like that, this crystal can really help you. It also helps with blocking EMFs. Um, it's just an overall good crystal to have for protection and blocking negativity. Next crystal jewelry piece that I'm going to be sharing with you is this really cute tanzanite necklace. So this is actually fairly new to me. I got tanzanite, I want to say maybe two months ago. I got tanzanite in the first place because I had a dream about tanzanite. I was holding it in my hand. It was like a really big piece of tanzanite. And I woke up and I was like, okay, I need to get tanzanite. <laughs> tanzanite is very expensive. So I had my eye on it and I follow this girl on Instagram. She sells crystal jewelry and I saw that she had tanzanite and I was like, oh my gosh, like this is so rare. Um, the price was pretty good and I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. Um, it came from Sweden. She lives in Sweden. So it took some time for me to get this piece. I was like super eager to get it. When I got it, I was super excited to put it on. You know, I, I put it on and I like went about my day and I noticed that the day I put this on, <laughs> I got in a fight with my boyfriend and I kind of subliminally thought like, oh my gosh, the tanzanite, like maybe it made me more mean or angry or something like that. So I kind of was scared to wear it again. <laughs> I feel like that was kind of like me kind of blocking the energy because I thought it was negative. But since then I've worn it, I've worn it again and I have been fine. I haven't been mean or angry <laughs> or cranky or whatever. Um, tanzanite really helps with your heart chakra and your higher up chakras. It kind of syncs them all together. Um, when I wear this stone, I'm really trying to sync with my intuition, um, really using my heart and my intuition. It's kind of a tricky energy, to be honest. Um, I feel like I still need to experiment more with it. Um, I feel like it definitely helps me kind of like awaken to different ideas or different visions. Um, but again, it's a very rare stone and I'm still working with it. But yeah, I thought it was kind of funny. I had that experience with getting kind of cranky when I was wearing it. <laughs> this next crystal jewelry piece is honestly one of my favorite crystal jewelry pieces to wear. And that is fluorite. Fluorite is such a go-to for me when I need mental enhancement, when I am working and I'm, maybe I'm doing a tedious task. It really helps me just like get in this flow and just like work really efficient and working really well. If you are looking for a crystal to help you in school, to help you study, um, to help you perform better at work, you know, if you want to have your mind really sharp with the tasks at hand, honestly, fluorite is one of like the biggest hacks out there, I think, for this. So definitely get some fluorite jewelry. <laughs> Speaking of favorite crystal jewelry pieces to wear, <laughs> probably one of my top three to wear is Labradorite. I got this Labradorite bracelet a couple years ago and I didn't know what stone it was at first. It was a gifted to me and I ended up going to a crystal shop and I asked someone and they're like, oh, that's Labradorite. I think I was pretty new into getting into crystals when I got this because I feel like it's, it's easy to recognize now because there's such a beautiful flash in it. It's obvious it's Labradorite, but at the time I wasn't sure. And I found out it was Labradorite. I was like, oh, wow, that's so cool. And I started to notice, you know, when I would wear my Labradorite bracelet, for some reason, things would just go my way. It was almost like I was experiencing more synchronicities happening. You know, I would be driving somewhere and I'd be thinking like, oh, it'd be so great if there was a parking spot right in front. Like, oh, I'd be so lucky. And then, you know, I get to my destination and there's a parking spot right in front. Like, just like little things like that. Or like, oh, it'd be great if there was like money in this meter. I didn't have to put a quarter in or whatever. And like, there'd be like an hour on it. You know, it's just like those little things that you're like, hmm, this is kind of cool, you know? I feel like that's like what happens when you're wearing a Labradorite. 
Labradorite also is a really good crystal to wear for psychic protection. If you feel like someone is sending you negative energy and you just want to have like a shield to block any of that, I've honestly worn Labradorite in those situations too. And it just has this comforting feeling knowing that you're being protected energetically. I would love to get a Labradorite necklace or a Labradorite ring. Um, this crystal jewelry bracelet was gifted to me and I wish the seller still made pieces because I feel like it's so unique and so pretty. Um, she no longer makes jewelry pieces, which sucks, um, but I would love to invest in getting more Labradorite because it is honestly such a wonderful crystal to wear. Alrighty, so this is my last necklace piece that I'll be sharing with you and it is this gorgeous rose quartz necklace. So this necklace I got from Pratt Daddy Crystals. I love it so much and whenever I wear rose quartz, honestly, I feel so beautiful. It has this way of just making me feel really confident and just like like loving myself, you know, it has that loving energy. Rose quartz is such a powerful stone to wear. It's honestly one that is super beneficial to wear every day, especially if you're a woman or if you're trying to work on self-confidence issues and feeling more beautiful. Rose quartz is a wonderful hack for that. I know in this day and age, we are all constantly comparing ourselves to other people and rose quartz just kind of has this energy of, no, look at you, you are beautiful, you are unique and you don't have to compare yourself to anyone. You just feel really confident and just loving when you're wearing rose quartz. I feel like this is such, such a beneficial crystal for anyone who is working with you know, self-esteem issues or self-love it really can honestly make a profound change in your life when you kind of get in, into, the, into the sink of loving yourself and knowing that you are beautiful. It really does change your whole world. <laughs> I love how the sun's kind of like peeking <laughs> on the crystal jewelry pieces. It looks really nice actually. <laughs> Alrighty, the next crystal piece, we're towards the end right now. Um, the last bracelet that I'm gonna be sharing with you is this beautiful lapis lazuli bracelet. So I actually got this bracelet from Earthly Aura Crystals. I honestly love wearing this, this bracelet when I really want to work on my intuition. This is definitely more of a go-to intuition stone for me. This is also another stone that I like to wear when I'm meditating. I'll put this on my wrist or I'll hold it in my hand and I'll just meditate. I feel like it has a way of really opening up my third eye chakra and just kind of like receive messages or just listen to that inner voice inside me it's wonderful for doing this i feel like if you are trying to work on your intuition it is kind of helpful bonding with a crystal jewelry piece to really be in that frequency 24 7 so you kind of observe your thoughts more you kind of feel those intuitions more it's just it's very helpful i feel like so if you are trying to actively work on your intuition kind of work on your gifts you know, maybe your psychic ability, investing in some in intuition slash third eye chakra stones can really help you in that way. And the last crystal jewelry piece that I wanted to share with you is actually in my ear. It's an earring stud. And I don't know if you can see it, but it is a little tiny opal. Um, I've had this opal in my ear probably for over five years. And I like to say that I always have opal whispering in my ear. It's kind of like my joke. Um, I've always been attracted to opal ever since I was little. And I don't know, I just, I thought it'd be fun to mention in this video kind of saying like, oh, it, I mean, it technically is like a, a jewelry piece, right? And it's, it's opal, so I was like, I might as well include it. Um, I just really like the energy of opal. It reminds me of like my inner child. I remember growing up, my grandmother had an opal ring that I was obsessed with and um, yeah, it just, it just brings me this really good energy of like thinking of my youth um, and that's my last crystal jewelry piece that I wanted to share with you, my little opal in my ear. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing my crystal jewelry collection, kind of understanding the energy of each of these stones, how you can really utilize working with crystal jewelry pieces. Don't forget to watch that crystal jewelry video that I mentioned on how to care for crystal jewelry, the importance of crystal jewelry, how it can really affect our energy if we keep up with the care of it. I'll definitely link that below. If you liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any stories you'd like to share about wearing crystal jewelry, maybe you had a really interesting like experience with a crystal jewelry piece that you have, 
I would honestly love to hear your experience in the comments. Please don't be shy. And I'm sure someone in this growing community would love to hear about your experience too. So please, please, please don't be shy. <laughs> If you are new here, I would love it if you subscribed. Come on and check out some of my other videos. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in my next one.